All right, we're back for some legacy action. Play some Grixis Delver. Um, <clears throat> played in a league uh, last night with 18 lands. Did, did all right. This time we have 18. It's <clears throat> been a little sketchy. All right, I would like to play first. And I would like to keep. Not sees you. Take your ether vial. Okay, so we're playing against playing against death and taxes, which is a tough matchup. They're gonna wasteland this. Or not. They might not. They they might need the mana. <clears throat> Let's start here. Okay. I think they would play Mom 100% of the time they had it. I kind of want to keep as many lands as I can, so I'm actually just going to go like this. Play Delver. We could get like Thalia in here, but I hope I stacked that right. I don't think I did. Which is going to piss me off. I don't think I stacked that right. I think I put a land underneath of it. Okay, there's Thalia. Thalia's in the house. Yeah, I definitely put a land. I stacked that wrong. <clears throat> I mean, I wanted I wanted another land in case I could waste land in here so I could play Trinity Nemesis. And I guess we'll just get a Valk. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't pray let us. They would have had to hit runner runner with lands in order to prelude us. Alright, there's Stone Forge. And a better skull. Alright, flip Delver. No. So you just waste this. Thoughtsies in bolt. Here, I'm definitely gonna waste them and bolt this. I think because I want to make it so they can't get in there. <clears throat> but if if I if I yeah, I have to wasteland and kill this thing. I just hope the true name carries us here. Who's the mana denial deck now? Nice. That feels good. Picking one up against death and taxes is always nice. And I can't wait for it to give us some modern news. Then issue to buy cards. Well, until they thought they were issued. Yeah. I, I saw that. There should there gonna be something going around. I'm excited. Hopefully it's hopefully it's like cards that go through. I mean, hopefully they just ban a bunch of cards. Like, I think that's the best thing for the format. So we don't want Spell Pierce. We're going to cut Preordain. Um, though Thought Scour is likely worse than Preordain, but getting caught with a bunch of Gurmag Anglers kind of sucks. <coughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to side out an Angler. I'm going to go like this, side out one of these. I think I would like... I could just cut all of these and then keep my... Because, like, keep my Dazes and my Forces in. Yeah, I mean, preordained and days aren't going to do anything in modern until they ban Faith of Sluting. Because like, Faith of Sluting is just like such a problem. I always wonder if I'm supposed to board a Diabolic Edict against this deck. I never do. Sort by. No, sort by converting mana cost. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. Days is like, when I figured out that days is always good against uh, death and taxes, I just like. My brain just blew up. Uh, we're on the draw. We get browned by a wasteland, but we have like 
some discard and a good cyborg card. And if we hit another land, we're good. I'm going to keep this. It's pretty soft to an ether vial. Okay, so we're just going to end up wasting their waste here. Because I think that's their only land. It's an odd one to lead on. Do that daze right on time. Yep. Okay. Nice. Nice again. I kind of want to save this to Bolt Mom, but I also want to deal with a Stoneforge Mystic <clears throat> or a Thalia. I think we're going to be able to power through a Mom with this Marsh Casualties. So I'm just going to discard spell them. All right, so double Thalia, Council's Judgment, Relic. I just take a Thalia, isolate, kill my Delvers. That's cute. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna take Thalia because like we can deal with the second Thalia and like slog through both of them. Let's hope that they didn't draw a wasteland. If they draw a land, they might have wanted to play this. Do we get punished for waiting? How do I get punished for waiting? Yeah, we're just going to wait. Well, no, we should do this in response in case they drop like a wisp. Yeah, this is stupid. So I'm going to do this right now. <coughs> we don't want to get flick a wisp. They kept it on two. Drew a port. We're going to let that go. Turn off all our yields. Because we want to, we really want to cast, uh, we want to hit this true name. This turn, which we didn't. All right. So we're going to take Council's Judgment. <coughs> and then just, just sit. Hopefully we hit that third land. Then we get Trinity Nemesis in play. We should be in good shape. Ban Chalice. All right. Good thing I sided out of Gurmag. Might want to sign out more if they're bringing relics. Um, yeah, this is just good. Stoneforge mistake? No, another Thalia. Okay. All right, that. Oh, actually, my opponent can't kill it. <coughs> Until they hit a land. We hit, we hit a land, we're in good shape. Because like that means we get true name nemesis in the play. Sure, we'll get we'll draw that. Start by attacking. I'm gonna brainstorm for a land so that I can daze something. Okay, and we hit. So I'm gonna put both of them back in case we get wastelanded. Oh shoot! I meant to I said I wanted to keep both of them and not shuffle them away. Ugh, the struggle. <clears throat> the talk plus play struggle. Okay, here comes Stoneforge Mystic. <clears throat> so they get sort of they get batter skull, okay. Batter skull's not that big of a problem, because we're gonna go like run run our true name. We just really don't want to get punished by the fact that we just stacked our stuff wrong because we're stupid. All right, doesn't look like we're going to get punished for it. All right, I'm going to do this right now so that we don't get viled. All 
throw my opponent and an attack. My opponent can still violin, but I don't want them to like us go to combat and then have them vial something else. So it's like we're gonna not get punished by our big mistake. Okay, we didn't get punished. Bridge and prison decks are not magic. Can't it's supposed to be played. Well, the problem is that's fun for someone else. Like while I agree with you that that is miserable, somebody else likes that. I'm gonna restart Moto. Next is supposed to be good. I'm just gonna restart Magic Online. <clears throat> so my name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Conqueror Network. Uh, I appreciate y'all for showing up and hanging out. Uh, if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you want to support me more, go over to YouTube. I've almost got enough YouTube subscribers to apply for monetization. I've started to get some of the emails about them, so just check that out. I write weekly for MTG Corner. I sent up, I just put a standard article up this week. Um, and then if you want to talk magic, you can head on over to me. You can head on over to Twitter. I'm pretty active on there. So, um, yep, so that's always a good time. And uh, Gamer Craze is a store in upstate New York that I learned to play magic at. They foster a college environment, so they've got competitive prices. So you should check them out. I know magic is expensive, and they will, they'll make it easier for you. While this is loading, I'm going to grab myself some drink. <coughs> okay. I'm a little sick, so I've been hacking stuff up lately. So it's making the talking a little tough. Oh, uh, Sarkin. Sorry in the bad, thank you very much for the subscription. I appreciate that. <coughs> How are you doing tonight? <coughs> the usual got off work early due to the weather oh so we got some extra granny nice i'm doing okay a little sick and it was i wanted to stream last night but i didn't oh uh, this hand is solid really on the fetch land um I don't think, I mean, there's some spells that we will daze on turn one, but we don't want to daze on turn one because we have this true name. And we don't want to play our ball and get wastelanded. Like, getting wastelanded would be the worst here. Just the worst. My opponent's just tanking here. Okay, so they kept seven. Pass into low priority. Says Rug Drake's. Oh, okay. All right, let me change that up. Um, thank you. Yeah, we're just going to let this one go. Just a mimic. We can bolt it. Um, if I brainstorm and find a Delver or a Thoughtseize, I want to play it. So let's just do that. Okay, we have no third land. So we don't need this. And I don't really want the second Force of Will. Let's just go like this. And then we'll... Thoughtseize them. 
Yeah, I was wondering why I wasn't getting that many viewers. I usually get <clears throat> a decent amount of viewers for Legacy Stream. No one was there. <clears throat> Okay, so my opponent has a bunch of cards that don't really matter. So I'm just going to take this Chalice. The Dismember's not really going to do anything. We're actually in pretty good shape if we had a third land, because we're just going to like trade them out of the game. Yeah, but I usually get separate viewers from Standard. Okay, opponent's not playing into Daze, which is kind of nice. I don't really want a Daze there. They just got over. Who won it? <clears throat> uh, MTGCorner.com. It's linked below. All right, that's not bad. Will be good eventually. So I'm going to end up bolting one of these Mimics here. Oh, who won last in the finals? That sucks. Okay, just going to bolt one of these. I could have forced that to turn on Gurmag Angler quickly, but more quickly, but I really don't, I'm not a big fan of that. Like if we find Ponder, like can't jump into fetch land or um, like can't jump into fetch land or uh, just another land or fetch land, then we're going to be able to play, like start playing here. All right. So we got days for days. So now I'm going to be a little more aggressive just because if I force something, it adds to delve. I don't really want to take like a million more damage. This days isn't doing anything. The problem is that if I force this... Because if I force here... Then this dismember just kills my Gurmag Angler. Like, I could just daze it. And if I just daze it, then... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Because then I can force a will... Um, the dismember. Next turn, after I play Gurmag Angler. I'm going to feel stupid if I top deck a land here, but, like, such is life. Cracked for five. We're going to go with seven. <coughs> Correct for six, okay. Oh shit, I'm just dead if I play Gurmag Angler now. God, I didn't do that math. <sighs> I had I had to force this. Yeah, I, I I just messed up there. I guess if the Eldrazi mimic doesn't grow, then I don't have to force it. But then I have to yeah, then we would have hit there. But I had to pitch a card to the I had to pay life to force a will. Yeah, I just completely tossed that. Like I, I should have just forced this, and then I would have gotten the card in my graveyard. Well, I don't know. It's kind of tough because, like, so if I just force a will this, um, Brick Silver is nice. Yep. Yo, get Phil on the mic. We need to talk amulet. How's it going? Well, no, we're we're exactly dead because we have to. He is a dismember. Like I, I messed this up. He's a dismember, and I had to force the dismember going to five block here. Take five. All right, so we want Edicts. A braid and Price Progress. How you doing, Andy? We don't need this. Scrim Lava Mancer is not that good. Spell Pierce and Spell Snare aren't great. Like, they do hit... Like, on the play, they hit Chalice, but that's really it. I'm going to cut one preordain too. I could cut a bolt, but like they have mimics, so I'm going to keep my bolts in. Yeah, it's either Josh or Jack, one of the two.
You should, uh, yo, everyone, we're pouring one out for Phil tonight. Tomorrow, tomorrow Phil loses his, uh, his balls. So, like, my boy Phil, he doesn't know it's coming yet. It's pretty sad. He's all excited still. I just have to, I have to walk him to the vet at 6.30 in the morning tomorrow to just see you tomorrow and pick him up tomorrow morning. All right, I would like to play first. <coughs> yeah, he is. <clears throat> so this hand gets the Days of Chalice with a cantrip and a lightning bolt. And it could set up a quick Gurmag Angler, and we have the necessary lands. I'm going to keep it, even though this is like a little sketch. I took this list from a, from a Jonathan Sukenik uh, list from a while ago. I just wanted to give it a try. Like, I struggled because I struggled with it a little bit um, lately just because uh, I've been struggling with De Delver a little bit lately. <clears throat> And because I didn't really like Young Pyromancer, so I want to try this without it. Uh, yield until next end step. So we'd like to find like a Thought Seize or a Gurmag Angler. We're not going to use this fetch land until we have to. All right, that's not bad. I'm tempted just to snap this off right now, even though it's kind of a weak land. It makes it so we can't chalice. We can't play through chalice. Or like it, <clears throat> days won't work. Alternatively, I could just brainstorm and then I could hit one of or hit have six really good hits in Thought Seas or Gurmag Angler or even Delver's pretty good. So that's like ten hits. My two abrades are twelve hits. We get three looks at it. I'm just gonna brainstorm. Talk myself into it. We get it forced to. Alright, true name nemesis is not bad. <coughs> I'm trying to put these two back and then I'm not gonna give my opponent the if they have a wasteland, I'm not gonna give them the option of which land they want to waste. Delver Secrets Price of Progress Wasteland. I don't think I want any of these. Okay. I didn't want any of them. <coughs> so we have a, still a pretty good turn. So they go like Eldrazi Temple Chalice. We can still daze the Chalice, then waste the Temple. And then play Delver. Alright, yeah, so. It's still a pretty productive turn. Next turn, even though, like, because we, we daze, we can't play True Name. Waste this. Play Delverino. Something that's kind of cool about Thought Scour is that, like, if you mill a card you don't want, you if you reveal like if you peek and you don't like it, you can Thought Scour it away, <clears throat> which is like marginal. Like we we will probably Thought Scour land away here. I of Eugene. Okay. A Thought Knot Seer here would suck. Which looks like what's going to happen. No, it's just a Ratchet Bomb. Okay. That is all right. No, we don't want another Delver. Because of this Ratchet Bomb. All right, we drew Forest, which isn't bad. We drew Volcanic Island, which is bad. Because now we're not, like... We really don't want to have to force. <clears throat> so I'm just going to offer this trade because of this ratchet. Well, the problem is then if they ratchet bomb up to this true name assist, then it gets kind of annoying. I'm going to offer the trade on defense. But I'll likely end up bolting it. Because like, I would like them to be like, crack this bomb to attack because I don't want them to charge it up here to hit my true name. <clears throat>
Trace Land. So I can make five mana this turn. <coughs> yeah, so. So I'm just going to bolt this. Then it might flip, and then they'll deal with it. Umazawa's Jete. Uh, I really don't want to force this because True Nemesis kind of deals with this unless they have Reality Smasher, but then like they can just get this with this Ratchet Bomb. I think I have to force this. Cause, like, there's no good way around this. Like, True Name Nemesis checks Jet, but this thing will deal with True Name eventually. Jeez. I was talking about I wanted a 19th land. <clears throat> That's just kind of tough there. Okay. That is all right. One thing about our opponent wasting us a lot. You want to reveal this card? Yes. Do I want to draw that? How many lands are left? I've got one Valk. I only have one underground. The underground sees in my hand. I don't know if I want to draw this. Because, like, they're just going to deal with this. Then I just have an under. Then I just have a Diabolic Edict when I can find, like, a Gurmag Angler. But it's probably better than the average draw. So let's just get it. And then I'm not going to play this underground C. I'm going to play out my Valk. <coughs> Especially because like the fetch land makes black mana anyways. Is that all four wastelands? One, two. Yeah, it's. I mean, like, we're not happy about it, right? But it's probably better than an average draw. It's three wastelands. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. We have one of each. We have one left. <clears throat> Which is a little scary. But our fetch lands are. That's like black. That's nice. So now we're just going to get in here. Then I'm going to waste. I kind of want to waste this Urborg. Because my opponent hasn't been playing lands from their hand. And they haven't been playing spells. And they've been drawing lands. So I think, they're, I think they just have a bunch of Eye of Lugans in their hand. So let's just cut them off two mana here. I don't think we want to waste Eye, right? Because like they've had three cards in their hand for so long. That I bet they are just sitting on a pile of eye organs. Well, now I look stupid. <clears throat> this, this is where I messed up because now I took down Diabolic Edict. Yeah, I was stupid here because, like, I, I just shouldn't have wasted because I take down the shields. I'm not gonna play this underground sea because it doesn't accomplish anything. <clears throat> I feel like we fucked this game up in some way, shape, or form. Alright, that's okay. Gurmag Angler. <clears throat> Alright, we're going to play this. Because I need to give myself the option to go, like, upgrade that and then cantrip next turn into getting around what's going on here. Oh, my God. That just kills me, right? Because upgrade this, take nine, block, yeah. I think I messed this game up. I think I definitely messed this game up. 
Like I think I had the tools to win it, and it just it just didn't didn't go that way. And maybe I did a poor read on my opponent, thinking, but they obviously knew that I had edict, so they could just like not played into it. You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to keep my hand. We, we're not going to get Wastelanded out. We've got a force. We have a threat and a removal spell. <coughs> Basic Swamp. All right, well, now we can play a fetch land because I just don't want to get Wastelanded. I don't want to like lead on Vault. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. But you got it. Probably take my force unless they don't have a lot going on. They could be like turbo debt or slow depths. Yeah. Uh, yield until next end step. So let's get a black land. Web thought scour. Alright, anyway, I hate all this. Alright, that's a nice draw. Um, so they can't, unless they play a Mox, they can't combo me out next turn. But I do kind of like just wasting. I kind of want to just Wasteland this. Now my guy tells me just doing nothing this turn isn't good, even though it leads to playing True Name Nemesis. So they're on a mulligan. That is a combo land. Like the problem is then if like they go uh, Mox Diamond next turn, I probably have to force it because they just go Mox Diamond land and make a twenty twenty or like that. But this is a Sylvan Scrying. We're definitely in tomb. Okay. Hmm. That was a nice draw. <clears throat> Alright, well, we're going to take that. We're going to take the card that does something. We're going to pass. I'm not going to bolt my opponent because that's that card's brainstorm fodder. Yeah, Dark Ritual's good. Shallow Grave. Absolutely not. All right, let's brainstorm. Not a brainstorm. <coughs> Man, come on. I was probably supposed to counter the Entomb. Got him. Drawing hot, yes. Brainstorm. Alright, I mean, keep playing lands because we might end up casting that thing for the full retail. Oh, that puts Grizzlebrand into play. I don't want to play Magic anymore. <coughs> All right. So this is like, it's a weird reanimator deck. Like it's like a Thespian Stage reanimator deck. So I want these. Price of Progress is probably good. Bitter Blossom is good. Uh, cards that are not good, Lava Mancer and Lightning Bolts. Uh, Dead Gone can bounce Merit Lage, so we're going to keep that. Uh, Spell Snare is likely not great. I don't think they're a Chalice deck, because we saw in Tomb. So we're, gonna go, we're just going to go like this. We're going to keep our true names, because they pitch the Force of Will. They're a little slow, but... 
Price of Progress is like our Gotham card against these decks with like these Merit Lage decks. Yeah, I don't know enough about this to know a lot about that. <clears throat> I just wanted to. I, I saw I saw a thespian stage, so I'm boarding it in. All right, I'm gonna keep this hand. <coughs> Definitely wouldn't have boarded like that. So why would you sideboard it, Florence? I mean, we're gonna with any luck, we'll have a third game here. So. Seems a little sketchy. Okay. Dark ritual. I kind of want to fish for a daze here. Because if I daze, that like basically counters it. Oh, the edicts. Yeah, I just zoned out on the edicts. I just, yeah, I 100% zoned out on the edicts. There, Lawrence. Okay. All right, that's good. Tomb, all right. Hopefully, they don't have a second creature. <coughs> Jesus. Okay, so yeah, I put the Edicts in. I, I just, I literally just zoned out about that. Because the more I play against Reanimator, the less I like Edicts. But like, I need the Edicts against the Merit Lage. Probably don't need all of these true names. Spell Snare is good because of Exhum. Dude, I don't even know what Tin Fins is. This looks better, I think. Put Snare in your deck, yes. Yeah, I zoned out. Went right over my head. I think this is what I want to do. I don't know. Like, this might be this might be shenanigans. Like, this is basically just because, like, it blocks Merit Lage for days. But this might be worse than this. Like, Perma Merrill Age Blocker versus Pitches to Force is basically where I'm at with it. Should play PUBG. I don't know. I kind of, like, don't have time to play other games. They're winner, winner, chicken, Dylan. <laughs> I'm gonna keep the bitter blossoms in because I think I think that Trinity Nemesis is too slow. And this is really too slow. The only reason why this is coming in is because it's like a perma blocker for Marilage. But besides that, I'm just gonna submit it. R6 is where it's at. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna this. Bitter Blossom seems like reluctantly good, right? You know, it's like, eh. I'll play it. All right, mull again. No, keep this one. I kind of want to put this on top in case they go to Thoughtseize, Surgical, this, and don't have a quick first hand. You know what I mean? Because like, let's let's just say they're playing slow. I'm tempted to put this on top. Yeah, I think I'm going to top it. Okay. <clears throat> I could just... I probably... 
I probably should just no. Nah, I want to save this wasteland because there's a chance in tomb. Okay. I don't understand why you wouldn't do that on your turn. Like if you're one hundred percent gonna do it. Underground C. All right, so I kind of want to take this Hex Mage and Surge on it. Maybe, yeah. I'm going to Surge on this in their draw step. Yeah, I mean, I, I could just wasteland the Dark Depths, but there's a chance that they just don't even do that. I don't know. Am I supposed to, like, wait and hope they miss? I don't really like that kind of plan. Yeah, I'm just going to surgical this. Wow, they hit the stage. We can't really do anything with it, though. Got them all. Okay. Our opponents. So I'm going to ponder... And if I ponder into a counter spell, I might just surgical this and wasteland it. Though all of these cards are pretty solid. I did that in the wrong order. I'm just going to do this now because I don't want my opponent. They can just reanimate their Gristle Brand, though. I'm taking the shields out of that, but then they're just going to make a 20 20. And I think I'm just going to take it. And then just like. Fade a reanimate spell, I guess. To Thoughtseize. Oh man, I stacked my shit wrong. And now that's gonna the Thoughtseize is gonna fuck me. Okay. Did I even take the ones out of their deck, or am I just an absolute idiot? Yeah, I did. Okay, so they take Angler. <coughs> and then we get to Ponder. Yeah, that's why I just stacked wrong, which is a mistake on my part. I don't even know if I want, like, like do I actually want this Bitter Blossom? How many ways they have to bring this thing back? So they've got Entomb, 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 Exhum, Exhum, Exhum. They have seven ways to get this thing back. It would be so much better if I had my Gurmag Angler, if I hadn't just been an idiot. I'm going to shuffle. Because I'm just going to bottom both of these. This Bitter Blossom is not going to do anything for me. Uh, play this. <coughs> I 
Okay. Play true name. Now we just look to fade for six turns. <clears throat> I've not played this game very well. They can't really exile this because then it like hits their gristle brand. Yeah, I'm just going to let that resolve because it, it doesn't exactly take a turn off the clock, but. All right, that's a great draw, actually. That just covers us from our first, uh, from the first Shadow Grave they draw. My opponent was not happy with my top deck. <clears throat> the nice thing about playing Legacy is I learn something every, every time. Like... Uh, Epilol, thank you very much. I appreciate the subscription. We hit another one. I'm gonna copy my fetch land. Does this do anything? I guess I should fetch this so that if I hit uh, fetch so that if I hit a wasteland, I can waste this. I don't know. I don't really think it does anything. Yeah, I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you very much. <coughs> we don't have any lightning bolts left in our deck. Oh, awesome. Thank you very much. There, Lawrence. I really appreciate you, Lawrence. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get... I'm going to play in uh, Magic Fest Niagara Falls, and I appreciate all of your ideas and you chit chat with me about stuff living wish okay uh, the living wish isn't i think the, i think they're just dead because i don't think they can living wish for anything for here that matters because they can't cast it this turn dark depths oh shit Oh, thank you very much, Anzi. I appreciate you. They can wish for depths. That makes sense. Okay. So what do we got? A three outer? Any of our cantrips are good. <coughs> That's why they only have three. Yep. Yeah, it's the first time I played against this deck, so. That is not it. And if we had just sequenced correctly, we'd have won this game. Like if I, if I would have stacked my angler second, so it couldn't get thought seized, I would have been all set. No, you're fine. You're fine. You are very fine. I appreciate everyone coming over from uh, Anzi stream. I uh, station zebra of all decks, but like. I had, it doesn't matter though. Like even if I don't know anything of how that deck works, Lawrence, if I stack my ponder correctly, I play Gurmag Angler and I end the game. You know, they don't kill. They like they're dead way before they have the opportunity to draw out of that. You know what I mean? So that's where I messed up. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah. Probably. With another fetch line in hand. I don't know if that matters with like... Yeah, I was definitely right. I'm going to keep this hand.
Absolutely not. I don't think we'll need both brainstorms. This days might do something. Like it might hit like a thought on Sierra Chalice next turn. <clears throat> Rim Mollus. Okay. Trinosphere. My opponent came to play here. <clears throat> so now we're looking for another Force of Will. We did not find. All right. That one's good. <coughs> so what does this do? This just makes everything cost three, basically. So it just slows the game down. At least they're, I mean, they can cast, still cast like Thought Knots here or something like that, but. Jeez, have a heart. I can't daze that, right? Because even if I daze. Can I still use alternative casting costs? Untap each spell. I mean, I'm going to try it. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Oh, you live and you learn. I have to make sure to fetch <clears throat> the trinity for you. Yeah. All right, I have to make sure to fetch in my upkeep. Fetch the top card away because it's a land. Then we can, like, cantrip. You know, we can do something. <clears throat> my opponent probably should just take my preordain, I think. Maybe we just, like, rip a true name nemesis and then we can, like, race this Thought Knots here. Just because, you know, they have an ancient... They're playing against an ancient tomb. Um, like, they have their own ancient tomb. We have a lightning bolt. I don't know. Maybe they do that. Maybe they just take the bolt. Because, like, me casting one cantrip a turn isn't going to matter, right? They probably should take bolt. Yeah. All right. Fetching our upkeep. <clears throat> Any creature here is nice. Let's get an underground C. All right, we're going to preordain. I'm just going to get another underground C in case they play Wasteland. Now, do we want our own wasteland? We probably want both of these. Yeah, I think I want both of these. We want the... Oh, shoot. I did that. I did it again where I, I stacked wrong. So now if I get Thought Nuts here again... Son of a bitch... Hope he doesn't thought not scare me. That's a that's the second time tonight I've stacked my cantrips wrong. <coughs> well, this reality smasher changes the game. Yeah. A smash. I can't beat the smasher. Okay. So against this deck, we want out with Lava Mancer. Out with this dead god. 
Yeah, he, he smashed me, Daddy. Bring these braids in. Bring this price of progress. <coughs> Cards that are not very good. I'll probably cut a bolt. Just keep the rest of it the way it is. <laughs> The Fortunate Nemesis, the Fortunate Nemesis was sweet for me in the league I did last night. Tonight it's been like pretty medium. I think I'd rather cut Preordain than Scour, right? I mean, if I if I have three Gerbag Anglers, I want to be able to turn them on quickly, or the game's just gonna like devolve. If as long as I answer their cards, then the game's just gonna devolve into this weird setup, anyways. I could just go like this. I wish I had two scour or pre Two scour. All right. Well, we're on the play now. <coughs> All right. Three bolts, two pre play. All right, missed it. Gross. All right, this hand's pretty solid. We have a force, we have a chalice, we have a delver on one. What more could you ask for? Yeah, I just hit, I just hit submit. Let me put on my computer glasses. My eyes are getting a little sore. Oh, I'll Wasteland, the second card down. I'm going to put that on top because it flips Delver. And it's just a good card to have. <clears throat> Ponder into Wasteland would be the net. <laughs> You're gone. <laughs> I wonder if I'm supposed to... Okay, Cloud Post doesn't do anything. At least right now it doesn't. This is the one that gains life. No, it's one that makes mana. Start by attacking. I'm just going to ponder before fetching. Well, I could fetch because if I hit Thought Season, I'm going to want to cast that this turn. If I hit Delver, I'm going to want to cast that this turn. If I hit another Ponder or a Preordain, I'm going to want to cast it. So that's six, nine, ten hits for this that I want to do on this turn. And then I might want the card down underneath it. I think I'm going to fetch. Yeah. I'm going to fetch and then do it. Why don't I stop on damage on my turn online? I'm going to fetch and then. Because we, we have 10 hits that we want to use do right now, I think. And I didn't see a wasteland from them first game. <coughs> um, Stays is probably fine to have. And then the edicts. Go. I think all these are good. I might have wanted to... Well, I, I had I had like so the problem the reason why I fetched is because I had like ten or twelve cards that I wanted to cast on the on my turn. And I didn't want to mess up the rest of my stack, right? <coughs> I would not have fetched in case I hit wasteland. Okay. And now I wish, I wish I would have stacked it. That's the third time. I wish I would have stacked it differently. I wish I had. I wish I would have drawn the uh, 
the Misty now. <clears throat> I think in addition to Wasteland is a stack of the cards. I think the addition to Wasteland is a stack of cards actually matters. Do you think it outweighs? Um, I think we just let this go because it makes it so that we draw the land on top of our deck. And then we just edict it. <clears throat> and they can, like, still take the force. Um, which kind of, like, strands it. But we might hit another blue card. This kind of, like, gets us one more card down into our deck. If they take the abrade, like, Chalice is annoying right now. But it's not, like, the end of the world. I would have just 100% wasted a classless there. Give me the option. Okay, is it worth the, like, is playing to the four Wasteland outs, is that worth potentially messing up another pile? Another, like, of whatever, the, the, like, the cards that I listed that I wanted to cast now if I hit them, is that worth it? We're going to get Reality Smashered here. Three, four. Which I've been to post Father Doom filter effects. Okay. All right. Chalice on two. You got it. So that only hits this a brain. <coughs> Brainstorm? Bolt's not bad. Hopefully they don't play a glimmer post. Hopefully they just don't play magic for the next like three turns. So say you, you ponder and hit the same pile, right? But you get to shuffle away the Edict of the Land. Yeah. <coughs> or the land. What is this? No. Nine? Is this like a freaking... Ooh, Mog. Well. Both teams tried hard. <coughs> How do I win? I like lightning bolts. And then I draw True Day Nemesis into like brainstorm running lightning bolt. Alright. Alright. It's more a matter of cantrip and dynamics. Yeah, I know. It was just like it just like I had so many cards that I thought I wanted to cast on that turn if I hit that I didn't want to mess everything else out, you know? Alright, the fact that they gain like 62 life here probably ends this game. Oh yeah, place progress. They copied this. So they have just like another Ulamog to play. Must have like another. Oh, they're just gonna go get an Ulamog or something. I don't know. Oh, the Chalice on two. Yeah, I mean we're we're gonna brainstorm and double bolt here. That is the plan. And we're cool the promised end. Okay? So we're not going to do that.
They exiled two of my lightning bolts, so I'm dead. I just don't have any. Even if I block here, cast another Trinity Nemesis. I guess I can just block. Draw another true name nemesis and then draw lightning bolt. <clears throat> oh, so they're just gonna go force, they're gonna do that, force my what do I have? I've got I still have three true names left in the top of the deck. Or the top, whatever. <coughs> three true names. No more lightning bolts, though. All right, now we're dead. I had to go true name into true name attack. Man, we're getting beat up tonight. Won my first one. I'm going to finish out this league. And I'll likely call it a night here. I'm a little under the weather, so I don't want to stream too, too long. <coughs> I don't know. Like, like, I need the 19th land. Sure. But, like... Is True Day Nemesis any more clunky than Young Pyromancer? Because, like, Young Pyromancer has been, like, a joke for me the past, like, three weeks. Okay. I'll copy this link. This guy just beat me. I don't know, like I keep I keep playing this Grixer Stelver deck, and I really dislike that there's only these four one drops here. Like and like I, I tried like the turbo Gurmag Angler version to try to make Gurmag Angler another one mana play, but like then you have to play like four thought scours, which is kind of embarrassing. <clears throat> I don't know, the more I play this Grixer Stelver deck, the more I just wanna I wanna play Rug Delver, but like Rug Delver is just just not that good. <clears throat> it seems like these where I think I have to mulligan. Because like this is basically a mulligan and we don't have a cantrip. Alright. We'll keep this on six. Keep it on the land. <coughs> I'm going to leave with a Valk, because if that, I'd rather have that get Wastelanded than the Underground Sea. Like, Lawrence, here's basically what I want. I want Rug Delver to be good. Because I want to have two good... two. I want to have two turn one plays. <coughs> That's what I want. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I want. So I just want to get dazed. Because, like, this thing is... I don't have an answer to this. Aaron Mace is a weird fetch line to have. Make sure they're just blue-red. I think I'm going to force this and just die on this hill. And maybe that's better. I'm just going to die. I think I'm just going to die on this hill. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> I probably should have pitched my Delver. Well, we play that many TNNs, so we don't need to. I'm going to go, like, 
this. <clears throat> I did too, because I could guarantee Play Delver at least. Alright, opponents got their own Delver. Into Volt My Delver. Yeah, or like, or like I want to play like Swift Spear, you know? I yield. <clears throat> yeah. Doesn't some of them play Wasteland and the other one of them play, uh, play like Price of... Price of Progress. Like, they either play Wasteland or they play Basics and Price of Progress. These are maybe. These are kind of clunky, though. Um, cards that I don't want. We probably can ditch these. I don't know if Casualties is that good or not. Like, it cleans up Young Pyromancer and they probably have True Name Nemesis. We can get rid of this spell pierce. And then we can trim on like three forces, probably. Two casualties might be too many. Like maybe it's worth just boarding in one. But then we already saw Pyromancer in this, probably. But they have, they're probably a Pyromancer, Delver, and uh, True Name. So I think I want to go like this. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting beat up a little bit. And maybe that's just because, like, maybe I'm being results-oriented also. You know? But I swear to God, I've played, like, one good Grixis League over the last, like, three weeks. Oh, I meant to take out a bunch of them. I meant to grab a couple of those. Yeah, see, I shade, I grabbed my, my uh, TNNs instead of my forces. Yeah. No, I mean I wanted to keep my tuning nemesis. But I accidentally I accidentally grabbed those when I went to I, I grabbed the wrong blue spell. <clears throat> no, yeah. You want one more of these? We can go with that, Lawrence. We can get a thought scour probably for another one of these. Because like we're not looking at super like power turb out turb out these anglers. Hold on the second force will release. Okay. I'm gonna board more in on the draw. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna ponder on turn one. <clears throat> uh so we don't need another threat, so we're gonna stack it like this. You would Delver. So the problem here is like I don't know if my opponent's playing like a pile of wastelands or a pile of um I don't know if my opponent's playing like a pile of wastelands or a pile of uh whatever it is. Um or they're not, you know what I mean? So I kinda wanna play Indo days now that I have my own days and sets them back so far. So I'm going to bolt this, and then I'm going to play my own Delver if they daze all days back. And we're just kind of just like leaning into our opponent now. <coughs> well, wait, wait. So Lawrence, I wanted, I wanted my opponent to daze. Or are you saying they would daze the Delver? Okay. All right. That makes sense. Like I, I wanted to, I wanted to like lean into a daze there, right? Because that sets them back further. You have three removal spells. Hmm. 
what do you mean? You have three removal spells. So within a daze removal spell and not daze, your cast will quit. Okay. Alright. Okay. So I'm gonna attack and then I'm gonna raid this because if they daze, I can daze back and replay my land. <coughs> yeah, you're right. You're right, Lawrence. Well, I want the edict for this, right? <coughs> this is what I was worried about. Now, do I daze now? Yeah, because, like, they're going to need another daze. Do I want to daze this now, or do I want to go edict, daze, replay my land for Pyroblast? That's kind of what I want to do. And I might just draw a land, which makes it so this their daze isn't good. And then I can daze a force wall. I think I'm just going to untap. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, now, now we're just in like an infinitely better spot here. They know we have Pyroblast, so they're going to, like, not fight over this. You want to Edict and then Daze. You might just Daze the Edict. No, so now we're out of a threat. So now we need like a, a something to draw with here. I'm trying to like play and keep up with what you're saying, Lawrence, because it's all it's all good stuff. Oh, that's a nice draw. So we're not gonna play into double days. We've got forcible covered. I'm kind of just saving this Pyroblast for a Trune Nemesis now. Like, I don't really want to use it on anything else. <coughs> I would do anything to be able to convert this. This is a real desperate brainstorm. This is a very, I mean, I'm not going to counter this, but like, this is a weird brainstorm. Really holding up the mana just for Pyro. Just. Well, I don't want to play into days, right? Like, if I can. I mean, I, I've given my opponent the chance to daze me, so maybe they just don't have it. I also don't want to play out too, too many lands because I might get price of progress out of the game. I don't think I'm going to play around Wasteland in game three. After seeing this, me this these many, or this amount of uh, basics. Okay. So now we're going to attack. Their plan is block and bolt. We just daze it. Or we can just like, with the trigger on, dead gone this thing. Okay. I still don't really want to do anything. I don't want to play this true name. I think I'm just going to pass again. <coughs> to be clear, I'm asking as an amp player looking to get into Delver. Lines that makes no sense. Yet. All right, I'm going to kill that at the end of the turn. Because again, I want to save it for a true name. Chain Lightning Me. Can I copy this? You may copy it and choose new targets for that copy. 
So they go land true name nemesis. I can just daze them. So let me go. I'm gonna I'm gonna do new copy, new spells for this. I'm gonna kill this Delver. It's the first time I've ever copied this chain lightning. Okay. Because we had we had true name covered there, which is why I did it like that. Okay, so on the draw. On the draw, I definitely want more of these. I don't know if I want all of them. But <clears throat> and probably like the two mana removal is a little clunky on the draw. So let's see what this looks like. Three forces on the draw with three true names. Days is a lot worse on the draw, but like Days is still really good in these Delver mirrors. I don't know, like everyone taps out. Like the the games are on like really slow, really low resources. I, mean, I could see cutting one and playing another Thought Scour. But I just think Days is just good all the time. Right. Again, I don't think I'm gonna play around force of well or play around wasteland this game. Like we're just gonna play into our opponent. That's annoying. This thing's really annoying. No, I mean we get price of progress, right? They're, we're doing the price of they're they're gonna price of progress us. They're playing all these basics. All right, that's nice. <coughs> okay. So I'm gonna stack. Here's the problem, though. If we keep this casualties, then we have to find another way to kill this Swift Spear. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to stack the casualties under the angler and then put the bolt on top. Because I think we're going to bolt this and then we're going to want to fetch away the casualties. And like we're going to rely on trying to daze our way out of a, a young pyromancer here. Alright, brainstorm good. I would like to try to find a way to play into my opponent's days here, like with our own days, because, or you know what I mean? Like try to, like I'm okay dazing something here. But I guess we can like, with our, with our land, play around days. All right, no, sir. So this makes them, like if they have days here, this kind of sucks, but... And this is okay because we can then go like fetch bolt and we can then daze back. Leaves us a little. I don't think they're going to daze, but we have to definitely think about like if we are going to daze back because of true name nemesis. But if they have daze and then don't, then they, you know. <clears throat> yeah, it is. It's a unique card for sure. Did I fetch? So I could brainstorm. And if my opponent dazes it, that kind of feels bad, but I don't really want to just play a little land out here. I think I'm just going to pass. Like, just wait a turn. Because, like, this lets us know we can Pyroblast, true name. Yeah. <laughs> 
I kind of want to pyroblast this, but I think that's probably small ball. Yeah, we're going to try to, like, we're going to wait a turn. Because we would like to be able to play Gurmang Angler. Um... This means we can play Angler next turn, which is nice. So if I brainstorm right now, I can play Angler around days and still have Pyroblast up for true names. So I think I'm going to do that, even though it's a kind of weak. And if I was going to do that, I should have done that before my mana expired, because now this can get dazed. I still think I want to do that. Okay, nice. Let's stack it like this. I, I should have used it before my mana expired. That was a mistake on my part. <clears throat> God, if we get a Days of Force of Will here, holy shnikes. Am I going to have like a little bit of a... Oh, wow. Yeah, so now we're just kind of leaning on our opponent. Yeah, dismember. That's pretty much what does it. All right, let's attack. I guess I'm just going to play my wasteland and pass. I don't really want to do anything. <coughs> Price of progress. I guess that's a reason not to play my wasteland. <clears throat> Wait, well, yeah. But what is my opponent's hand? It's likely just a bunch of price of progress. That's a nice draw. Let's start by attacking. I'm going to play this because I want to leave Pyroblast up. Give myself the option to waste myself if I need to. I could just take six. I think I'm just going to take six. <clears throat> you think just playing the land was not good? I don't really want any of these cards. The Lava Man's pretty good. I guess I can just take these and then not play them. Like just have another Pyroblast in the, ta in the tank there. But I would not cast Ponder. <coughs> yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep it like it is. But we're just gonna go like this. Cause like all these cards are good. And if this game does go into hell in the handbasket, like I'm gonna want Grim Lava Mancer. I don't really know how this game's gonna go in the hell in a handbasket, but if it does. <coughs> Bolt me. Okay. We can waste our vault if we need to because we have another vault coming. Okay. All right. I think that's going to do it for me tonight. Um, Let's go back here to the deck.
I'm getting to the point with this deck where I've been struggling for a while and I really dislike not being able to get onto the board quickly with this deck. And like, like it, it like even if we go down here, like I think this version is like strictly the worst version that I've been playing. Like, let's get down here to a good one. This is like give or take a pretty solid Delvin. Like, probably should have one more land. Um, maybe changed around here a little bit. <clears throat> I dislike how this deck is going big and feels more like Jund. And I just don't think that really fits with what I want to do. Like, I want to, I want to, I want to be leaner to the, I want to be lower to the ground. You know, and I think that's just where I want to be in Magic. I've just been frustrated. I, I will host him. Yeah. Yeah, we have the two three. Which was not good. Um, and I think that maybe that means that, like, because I think I just want to play a leaner game. Like, I want I want to be leaner. I want to be lower to the ground. You know, I don't want to be clunky. And <clears throat> maybe that means, like, looking at this deck and, like, instead of playing, like, a mean version of this deck. Like, because most of the time when I play this deck, I play with just, like, cards that I want to play with. And, like, maybe this deck is better for what I want to do in Magic. I don't know. But I've been struggling quite a bit recently with Eckhart's Stelver deck. After doing pretty well with it to start with, but recently it's just been tough. But I appreciate everyone for showing up and having